The Star Trek franchise has amassed 902 episodes of television spanning 47 seasons. As time has passed, I thought to myself, it would be extremely interesting to rank every episode, but randomly, thus creating the Star Trek Retro Review series, a weekly back and forth between Pop Tot and I as we reminisce over the good, the bad, and the ugly. Buckle up and enjoy. So after last week's delightful Rascal TNG episode, we hop over to Deep Space Nine with Pop Tot's pick of Hard Time, which is definitely a hard time watching. This is an emotional episode involving the wonderful Miles O'Brien, who is basically trapped in a mental simulation prison for uh, something he did that isn't espionage. Really, yeah, espionage. It wasn't really important to the plot. Your graphic security arrested him and charged him with espionage. What is right. important is basically the trauma afterwards and very much what I'm sure you noticed right off the bat was very much the inner light dark. Captain. Kudos to Colomini, who plays Miles O'Brien, as as many of you know or might, might not know. He was a very much a bit character initially on Next Generation. The actor was so well-loved. Everybody loved working with him that his they grew his character. There was an element of, of like, O'Brien was slightly frontline. <clears throat> you know, he was, he was uh, you, know, you know, and, and being slightly maybe foolish he he would put himself in these situations as well this episode why i picked it was basically an episode where he was the center of it yeah. and they didn't waste any time like it, he's waking up and he thinks it's 20 years later it's been 20 years you, you haven't changed at all and it hasn't been it's just a few hours in this alien race and planted these memories to where he thinks that, you know, his choices made a difference in his head. We're introduced to a character through flashbacks and through his own visions, this character Echar. Miles O'Brien. Hello, Miles. Welcome to hell. The actor who plays him is a bit actor who's done a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I just, no, I, I'm sorry, Sam. No, there are no messages. Sorry. Oh, well, gotta run. I'll be in touch. Okay. But he did an amazing job. Don't you see, if I keep coming back, it's because some part of you keeps bringing me here. Really good acting all the way through from Keiko. In the long run, he's going to be okay. It's just going to take some time. Dr. Bashir dealing with it and the, the few seconds that Cisco was in it. Please, Captain. I'm asking you as a personal favor to me. Give me one more chance. I wish I could. It was just a really well-rounded, good episode. I was thinking when O'Brien, near the end, spoiler for a 30-year-old episode of Star Trek, he, at the end, he basically loses his shit. Come on! Not now. Please, Daddy, please! I said not now, right? What I is, said not! What are you doing? And goes over and pulls a phaser out, sets it to kill. Oh, my and God, yeah. Almost, and I was like, I don't think I've ever seen that star trek i was i was actually her. emotional i'm not doing this for me i'm doing to protect keiko and molly and everyone else in this station yeah this this episode it was an amalgamation of the inner light mixed with chain of command the episode where picard was tortured For some reason, this is a huge reach. Uh, Demolition Man. I don't know why I thought of Demolition Man, but the whole idea of basically you being punished, but you were basically being frozen a bit in time. Sergeant Spartan, you've been sentenced to 70 years, sub-zero rehabilitation in the California cryo penitentiary. For right, and, and, in, and in Demolition Man, they did talk about that they actually fed virtual yeah. simulations and to teach them skills. You will be placed in cryostasis for the duration of your sentence, during which your behavior will be altered through synaptic suggestion. In this case, Miles was in the cell and they, they didn't feed him for sometimes weeks and they had to hoard food and him and each are ended up getting into a fight after almost 20 years of being in the cell together. And he basically in the fight kills each are and he w lives with that guilt. Each. 
And yeah. the guilt is just swallowing him whole to the point that he almost attacks his own child. I nearly hit Bali today. All she wanted was a little attention. <laughs> I nearly hit her. You could definitely tell there was research done on how prison inmates basically react to living out of society. You know, he was sleeping on the floor. He was basically mm, withdrawn. Was he was arguing with everybody. It was little details. It, you saw those little details even when they he would go back and explain what was going on. It, the little details of how more intricate his designs in the sand got and then how the hair and his uniform got more dirty and aged mm -hmm. and all that. That scene between him and Bashir was so emotional and I I just, it really blew me away. And Look, I don't claim to know what you're going through, but whatever it is, it's not worth dying for. For some reason, I do not remember this episode. I, no, I, I know. I've watched Deep Space Nine from front to back several times. Yeah. And for some reason, this episode does not stand out for me. And, yeah. But today, I'm like, wow, this could easily be in my top ten. But when it came down to it, when I had the chance to show that no matter what anyone did to me, I was still an evolved human being. I noted when I was watching it, there's a lot of great direction when he yes. is basically falling apart. He, he gets in this huge argument with Bashir. You have no idea what I've been going through. You're right. You were alone in that cell. The way the camera and everything that works with Echar and the way that things are cut was super cool, but it was also like claustrophobic and the more that he was yeah. running, the more it was like catching him in the camera and it was just really well done. I, I was just really blown away and it it's one of those things that's cool about star trek that it doesn't have it can have a really deep stimulating idea but only it has this like cell that had like sand in it and then it's some shots on the promenade and all that but it's a very simple episode with a lot of meaning to it if you do if you pull that trigger then the agrathi will have won they would have destroyed a good man when uh, Cisco basically relieved him of duty and he walked by Jazia yeah. and he's going to the elevator and he takes his comm badge off and throws, throws it, it into yeah. the shaft. And I'm like, wow. Promenade. There is one funny part. He's hanging out with Worf and Worf has suggested. Well, we could go kayaking in the hollow suite. <laughs> I'm trying to picture Worf kayaking. Yeah, it would would have been so silly. My only knock on the episode, I, I guess I have two knocks on the episode, was one, either Cisco, uh, Norris was the one that basically picked him up, but I feel like Cisco or Starfleet of the Federation would have had a little bit more interference. I mean, it's, it's no different than when we have a, a soldier captured in the U.S., you know, captured by somewhere was, else. But that's there was, the thing is, you play it in your head how many different Star Trek episodes were there. There is something like that, and they right. play the diplomatic thing. But Dave was basically, he was captured because he was asking too many questions about an right. advanced system. He apparently got curious about some Agrathi technology and asked a few too many questions. Found him guilty and implanted those within a few hours. Yeah. But by the time the Agrathi told us what had happened, they had already carried out his correction. Yeah, that's true. And then the, the other thing, too, which I think is probably the most obvious one, is that even in today's standards, there's no way in hell he would have been allowed to go back to work in, in no. any regard, any no. regard, whatever. He was like, oh, I don't have to do it. It's like this dude had basically 20 years of severe trauma, whether or not, you know, the doctors or whatever knew that he killed Echar out of accident or whatever. It wouldn't have mattered. It's 20 years that he served. And I'm like, there's no way in hell he would have been allowed to go back. I don't need counseling or relaxation or time to adjust. I just want to be left alone. You know? he, brought, he would have been relieved. He would have been going through extensive therapy. Miles. Be well, Miles. Overall, what would you rate the second episode that we've now done in the retro reviews? I'm definitely giving this a 10. Wow, okay. <laughs> I'm in no mood for games, Quark. It's not really widely talked about, although if you look at some of the lists, it's definitely made out of 700 plus episodes of Star Trek or 800. It's usually in the top 40 or 50. I really, really enjoyed this episode. I'm going to give it a nine. I, I agree. I, I was blown away by the performances. I love what they did with Miles' character.
Yes. And to see him go through that trauma and, you know, just want to be with his family. But then this, this, everything he's dealing with, it was just the performances, the direction. Don't you get it? You're not my friend. Not anymore. The writing was so good and it was handled with so much nuance that I don't think the writers today could pull off. And I, I hate to be that guy. It was me all along. I just don't think they could. I, I My only mark was that, again, I just feel like they would have never let him go back to work and avoided the issue with Quark and all that. And, and a super, super minor nitpick. Why would Jake be the one teaching him about engineering tools again I, I feel like that should have been rom doing that or something or, or even or even jazia chief i was just about to head down to the replement not now wondering... commander he had to get his, his time in i don't know right minor nitpick but be sure to let us know what you guys thought of this episode you guys remember it did you love it did, did you, maybe was it a little too tough on you to watch be sure to let us know and what episodes you guys want to see us check out uh let us know in the comments and we'll see you guys on the next one